In this segment, we're going to find domain and range of a relation, and then we'll look at relations on graphs, that is, and then use the vertical line test to see if that relation is a function. So first, let's look at this relation. This is a graph of a circle. We can find its domain and range, and you just need to write d colon r colon, and put the interval notation for those sets of numbers that this graph covers. Domain goes this way, left to right, and, and it's the highest and the lowest value. And range goes this way. Domain is the x values, or input values. And range is the y values, or output values. So we can see that this graph starts here. And you can see that's negative 1 and goes to 5. It includes both negative 1 and 5, so we're going to use brackets to write the interval notation. Negative 1, comma, 5. So that's the domain of that graph. The range is how low and how high it goes. So the low point here is at negative 2. We start there, negative 2. And how high does it go? It looks like it reaches up to 4. So that's how we'd write the domain and range in interval notation for this graph. Now, to use the vertical line test to see whether this is a function, we pass any vertical line through it. There's an, an, an example. We, could, we need to think about all the possible vertical lines. But right away, this one tells us that it, this vertical line passes through it, the graph, in two places. That means it's not a function, because for the x value for this vertical line, it has two y values. Remember, functions with one input can only have one output, not two. So this is not a function. So here's a second graph that we want to do the same thing with. Find the domain and range, and then test to see whether this is a function or not. So let's see. The domain is the set of x values, remember, or input values. And that starts here at negative 2. It includes negative 2 as one of the values, because that point is right on negative 2. But you can see that this graph has arrows that point toward positive infinity on this side. So we say it ends at positive infinity, or it doesn't end keeps on going toward positive infinity. So that's the set of input values. These arrows indicate that the graph continues to go out to the right. The range for this graph actually starts at negative infinity. Even though this looks like it's going to the right, it's also going down as far as you like. It'll, it'll go to the right faster, but it'll continue to the right and down. And this graph also continues to the right and up. So the range is all real numbers, or from negative infinity to positive infinity. All right? Now we'll try that vertical line test again. If I pass a vertical line through it, I can see that this graph is crossed in two places. So for this positive value of 3, for instance, it has a positive value and a negative value for y that are the same distance away from the axis, the x-axis. And so, this also is not a function. Okay? We've seen two graphs of relations that were not functions. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about linear functions, though. Linear functions have graphs that look like this that are straight lines. And all straight lines on the graph, or linear functions, 
uh, linear relations, that is, are linear functions except for one. And that's the one that has the equation x equal some number, like x equal 3. That would be this line here. It is not a function. And that's the only linear graph that's not a function because it's, it is itself a vertical line. So any vertical line drawn along it would touch it at every point. So that's why a vertical line is not a function, but any other linear function, a linear graph, is a function. One that's diagonal or y equals the number of a horizontal line, uh, one that goes like this, up or down, in a diagonal. They're all functions. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of linear equations. The only one that's not a function is x equals some number.